Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentice Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of, eliminate, destroy toxic products in their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we are looking at Aquafina and we're going to talk about five things you need to know about Aquafina when it comes to finding out is Aquafina good water to drink? All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first thing. And the first thing is oxidation. Is it an oxidant or is it an antioxidant? All right. So we're going to go ahead and pour some of this water while I explain that real quick. Now, if you don't know, we are around things that are trying to harm us, trying to take us out, right? And these things are free radicals, okay? They are everywhere. They are in the air that we breathe, like literally as we're breathing in. <laughs> they are in the foods that we eat. They are in electronics. So everybody has smart watches and smartphones and all these smart things. You're actually bringing in the, these free radicals. They come in, they take electrons from our healthy cells and it makes them become in this position to where they are oxidizing and they create inflammation. Okay, so those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. But so we want to have antioxidants because it's gonna neutralize those free radicals, get rid of the oxidation, bring down that inflammation, and essentially be the fountain of youth. So we are gonna look at Aquafina and see if it actually can be a good antioxidant for us. All right, exactly why we eat our broccolis, our fruits and veggies, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, all right? We're gonna use an ORP meter to test this. And ORP stands for oxidative reduction potential or the potential to reduce oxidation. Now, if we see a positive number here, that means it is actually oxidizing us, creating more sickness and disease in the body. However, if we see a negative number, it is an antioxidant and we that's something that we're gonna love. It's gonna give us um, less inflammation and it's going to be essentially the fountain of youth. So let's check out Aquafina and see what we get. And Aquafina is sitting at a 185 and as you see it is steadily going up and the reason why is once again came into contact with the air right so air is going to kill this and now oh my gosh it's at a 230. So Let's go ahead and check out this other water here. We're called this antioxidant water. And as you can see, take a look at that. It is jumping straight to a negative number. It is a negative 790. And you can't eat enough fruits and vegetables in a single day to equate to one glass of this antioxidant water. So, with that being said, the first thing that we took a look at was oxidants. And this is actually oxidizing us. All right, the second thing we're gonna look for when it comes to discovering is Aquafina a good water to drink is this alkalinity, all right? Now, our blood must maintain a 7.365 on the pH scale, and it's gonna do that. If we take in things that are alkaline, that are good for us, our broccolis, our fruits and veggies, once again, it's gonna actually, our body's gonna break the nutrients down, it's gonna keep our blood in balance. However, if we're consuming things like alcohol, tobacco, <laughs> artificial sweeteners, fast food, all that stuff is acidic and it actually harms us. And the problem is our body is gonna, well actually it's a good thing, our body's gonna keep our blood at that 7.365. It's just gonna have to take it from us, all right? It's gonna start taking it from our skin. So it started taking the minerals from our bones, our joints, and our ligaments. And this is how osteoporosis happens, all right? And so we want to ensure that the water we're drinking, since we're 75% water is, alkaline it's not acidic it's not creating more harm to us all right so let's go ahead and test it we're gonna use phenol red drops here and if we see a red or orange or yellow that means it's acidic and it's eating the minerals in our body however if we see a blue a purple or dark purple it means it's alkaline it's going to keep balance in the body let's see what we get oh it's yeah that's looking pretty that's acidic, right? So this is actually keeping us sick. This is making it worse for us. However, this antioxidant water right here is showing up a beautiful purple. Now, even though we're drinking this Aquafina water, if we were gonna make the switch, we could easily do that and our body would be more alkaline as well. All right, so that's the second one and that is alkalinity. 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at when it comes to Aquafina, and is it a good water to drink, is, is it actually able to hydrate us, All right? So they sell these in like 96 packs at the store. You see them everywhere. And so it makes you wonder though, if they're putting this all in front of us, that must mean it's good to drink, right? That means it can hydrate us, right? Well, let's go ahead and check it out. So what I'm gonna use here is a tea bag, and I'm gonna pretend that this is us dehydrated, right? This could be our brain, this could be our body, just after our workout. <laughs> and we're gonna use this water to try to hydrate us. And what should happen is the water should be small enough to actually go through the tea bag and make tea. So let's see what we get. All right, so as you see, like it's not, it's not doing it. In fact, this is exactly what happens when we drink water, right? We end up drinking, it sits in our stomach and it's not actually going, getting absorbed into our body. And see, I'm gonna try to jump around, but we shouldn't have to jump around to feel hydrated. It should immediately be able to make tea. And you're just saying, well, it's cause the water is cold. All right, we'll see. We'll see in a moment. <laughs> but once again, I'm gonna go ahead and try this antioxidant rich water right here. It's also cold and I'm just gonna pour it over the tea bag and see what we get. And look at that. It is making tea instantly and it's cold, right? So you're probably thinking, you know what, Lopentis, what you did was a trick, it was a trap. Well, we got two more cups here. Let's see what we can get. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try the Aquafina one more time. And I feel it's not that good for us to drink because it's in the bottle and it's not able to hydrate us. Like it's only making a little bit of tea, which means it's only hydrating you a little bit, right? And so you drink the water, you still feel thirsty, and then you have to get more water. So we have to drink more water to get the same equivalent of drinking this right here. And it's pretty crazy because, think about this, even if you're taking supplements, if you're trying to get better and improve your health even more, you're taking it with water that's not that good, you're not gonna get the same impact. However, if we take it with a water that's better, then guess what? You get a better impact. You see, look at this. That's crazy. So, Aquafina, it looks like it has a tough time being able to hydrate us. It's not able to hydrate us at the way that I would want to be hydrated. I'd rather want to, I would rather be want to be hydrated at 95%, right? <laughs> than the five or 7% that you see with Aquafina. All right, the next thing to consider when it comes to Aquafina and is it a good water to drink is what's in it, all right? So this water is purified drinking water and it's purified by reverse osmosis. So what does that mean? That means they have removed everything from the water, not only the bad stuff, but the good stuff too. And that's why it shows up as acidic on the pH scale. And the problem with that is it doesn't provide us with the minerals that we need but it does provide us with some extra things that we really don't want, okay? So because all of everything's removed from the water, it makes the water a scavenger and it's eating the plastic. And so there may have been times where you drank a bottle of water and it tasted like plastic, right? That's because it came into contact with the sun and the water that has literally eaten the plastic. On top of that, we don't know when we get this water. So this could have been made so I came in and see a date. I see the date that is due, which is October, 2022. But think about it. It could have been months before this bottle actually got to our hands before it even got to the stores. And so what ends up happening is this water, because it mixes with the plastic, it creates a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. And men and women who have breast cancer 75% of the men and women who have breast cancer end up having too much xenoestrogen in their body. And so drinking this water, it doesn't even matter if it's Aquafina, Dasani, it could be any of them. Drinking water that creates that carcinogen in your body, I don't think is that good for our health. Is that something you want to experience? Let's keep that in mind. All right, last but not least, not only did we discover today that Aquafina water it's oxidizing, it's acidic, it's tough time hydrating us, and it creates carcinogens, but we're paying for it. Like we're paying money for this. And 
I know it's it's like the cheapest water to get, right? You can go to the store, you can get a hundred pack of it for like three dollars. But our body, this is our health, and your health is an investment, right? So you should invest the best into your health, right? You don't get a car for work, and you don't you know, like a car that's going to get you from California to Florida. You aren't going to go ahead and get a, a two hundred dollar car and expect to make that trip. You want to live a long, healthy life, and so this water. I don't think it's worth it. So I just want to share these things with you. Um, if you feel that Aquafina is a good water to drink, hopefully this video has shared some insights with you to maybe take a second guess, a second look. And if you are serious about improving your health, I highly recommend getting with me, all right? So two ways you can do this. First one is to catch me on my website, LaprentisSampson.com, and have more videos and tips and ways to contact me there. And also on Facebook, I have a Facebook page dedicated to helping you improve your overall wellness and I have videos on there that are too hot for YouTube. So make sure you check that out and I will look forward to being able to help you improve your health and wellness. You deserve to drink the best water and I don't think this is it. So if you're serious, make sure you get in contact with me. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.